Welcome back to our channel, Storm Rider. The USS Zumwalt DDG-1000 of 2026 represents one of the most advanced and unconventional destroyers ever placed on water. And even though its development story has been full of challenges, the final product remains a showcase of futuristic naval engineering. If you were expecting a traditional destroyer, Zumwalt will surprise you from the moment you see it. Its sharp, angular hull doesn't look like the sleek curves of older warships. Instead, it looks like something out of a science fiction movie. A massive steel triangle cutting through the ocean. That shape is not just for show. It's a stealth-focused design called a tumble-home hull, made to scatter radar waves so that, on enemy sensors, this 600-foot warship can appear as small as a fishing boat. Imagine a ship over 15,000 tons in displacement that shows up on radar like a tiny vessel. That's one of Zumwalt's most unique advantages. Inside that futuristic shell is a power system that stands out from anything else in the U.S. Navy. Unlike conventional destroyers, the Zumwalt uses an integrated electric propulsion system. Instead of sending engine power directly to the propeller shafts, it generates enormous amounts of electricity first almost 78 megawatts, enough to power a small town, and then pushes that energy wherever it's needed. Some of it goes to propulsion, some to onboard systems, and in the future, it can easily be redirected to high-energy weapons like lasers or railguns. This flexibility is a crucial part of Zumwalt's long-term strategy. As naval warfare evolves, the ship won't need a total rebuild to support next-generation weapons. It already has the electrical backbone for them. The heart of the Zumwalt's firepower originally centered around two enormous 155mm guns mounted at the bow. These advanced gun systems were designed to fire special long-range land attack projectiles, GPS-guided shells that could hit targets more than 60 miles inland with extreme accuracy. It sounded great on paper, but the ammunition costs skyrocketed to nearly a million dollars per round making it too expensive for mass deployment. Response, the Navy shifted the Zumwalt class towards surface strike missions instead. Today, its main offensive punch comes from its missile cells, 80 of them hidden along the deck in separate armored compartments for survivability. These cells can launch Tomahawk cruise missiles, anti-submarine rockets, and future hypersonic weapons. In fact, one of the most promising upgrades happening around 2026 is the integration of hypersonic missile systems, which could let the Zumwalt hit targets thousands of miles away at speeds over Mach 5. That shift turns the Zumwalt from a close support ship into a long-range powerhouse. Beyond firepower, the Zumwalt's level of automation is one of its biggest technological achievements. Most destroyers need a large crew, sometimes 300 sailors or more, to run the ship. Zumwalt operates with about half of that, Advanced computers, automated damage control systems, and even robotic fire suppression cut down manpower requirements. This makes the ship quieter, smoother to manage, and more cost-efficient over its lifetime. Fewer people on board also means more space for mission systems, supplies, or future hardware upgrades. For the sailors themselves, life on the Zumwalt is closer to modern living. The interior feels less like a submarine corridor, and more like something designed for comfort. Wider passageways, improved sleeping quarters, and updated workstations show how the Navy is adapting to longer deployments and crew morale. Another area where Zumwalt stands out is acoustic stealth. Submarines usually worry about silence more than surface ships, but Zumwalt is one of the quietest destroyers ever built. From its enclosed propellers to engine layouts and hull shape, every major design element reduces vibrations and noise in water. This makes it extremely hard for enemy submarines to detect the destroyer with sonar. When a warship can move silently, strike far away, and appear tiny on radar, it becomes a major problem for anyone trying to track it. Even with all this innovation, Zumwalt hasn't had a smooth journey. The ship was supposed to be part of a massive class of destroyers, more than 20 planned at one point. But high development costs, Shifting military strategy and technical hurdles reduced the class to only three ships. Advanced materials, unconventional hull design, and next-generation systems ran into delays and budget overruns. Critics argue that the Zumwalt fleet became too expensive and too experimental. 
Supporters counter that every cutting-edge leap comes with a price, and this platform will set the foundation for decades of naval advancement. And when you examine the long-term vision, stealth warship, electric drive, hypersonic missile capability, and future energy weapons, it's clear the Zumwalt is built not just for today, but for the future battlefield. Even its radar and sensor technology is designed with forward thinking in mind. Instead of a collection of exposed antennas, many of Zumwalt's systems are embedded and enclosed within the ship's surfaces to preserve stealth. That sleek tower rising from the deck, called the Integrated Deckhouse, holds radars, communication arrays, and electronic warfare sensors all inside a composite shell. It reduces drag, radar signature, and even saltwater corrosion which extends its service life. Handling command and control, the Zumwalt can operate independently or as part of a larger carrier strike group, feeding data into the Navy's growing network-centric warfare system with real-time targeting, electronic surveillance, and drone coordination. This destroyer is not just a floating missile launcher, it's a mobile intelligence asset. Performance on the water matches the advanced engineering. Despite its massive size, Zumwalt can push above 30 knots, slice through rough seas, and remain stable thanks to its wave-piercing bow. Instead of riding on top of waves, the ship cuts through them, which reduces pitch and roll. A more stable gun platform means better accuracy. More stability also means better flight operations for helicopters and unmanned vehicles launched from the rear deck. And that's another part of Zumwalt's versatility. It can support helicopters, drones, and potentially future unmanned surface craft, giving it more eyes, more range, and more strike choices. What makes the Zumwalt most interesting is that it doesn't look or operate like the standard destroyers everyone is used to. It's not a Columbus-style wooden ship with cannons on the sides. It's not the typical modern warship with exposed weapons and towering radar dishes. Instead, it's a glimpse of the direction naval warfare is heading. Reduced signatures, integrated electronics, automation, and modular weapons that can evolve over time. Traditional destroyer is a snapshot of a single era. Zoom Vault is a platform designed to shape future eras. For some people, the Zoom Vault will always be controversial because of its cost and experimental design. But for others, it represents the exact purpose of a next-generation warship, a testbed for systems that will eventually become normal fleet technology. When the U.S. Navy deploys lasers, electromagnetic weapons, or widespread hypersonic missiles across its fleet, many of those innovations will trace back to what Zumwalt proved possible. So while it may not exist in large numbers, the impact of the DDG-1000 class could be far larger than how many hulls actually hit the ocean. In simple terms, the 2026 Zumwalt destroyer is a silent, stealthy, electrically powered powerhouse with the space, energy, and computing backbone to keep growing into the future. Whether striking deep land targets, hunting submarines, or acting as a command and surveillance platform, it blends futuristic engineering with battlefield purpose. And even if it began as a controversial project, it stands today as one of the most advanced naval vessels in the world. Part warship, part research platform, and one of the most impressive symbols of how naval warfare may evolve over the next several decades.